Hey everyone, it's Derek LeClaire, the Data Dude here. On uh, this week of the Farm Fact uh, Friday, we're going to talk about uh, tomato harvest since uh, that's, uh, that's this time of year and uh, we're actually out in the field right now. I'm just about to take a load to the factory, so I just wanted to do a quick uh, overview of the of the harvester before before you see the videos in action here. So so this is the this is what we call a pick right here. So that's just that's the brand of the, the harvester. That's what uh, that's what most uh, tomato farmers have these days. I would say the the days of the self, the self propelled uh, machines are kind of fading away. A lot more people are moving to the uh, pull type here. So yeah, so this is a pick, right? So so this is the header, what we call the header here. So this would be where this is where it all starts. So if the camera turns around there, you can see the rows of tomatoes. So as you can. See, See them sprawled out nice and red there so as the uh, harvester drives along the field the uh, the discs of the header here they they spin and basically cut the plant off at, at the soil level there and then it goes up onto these chains here and you'll notice too there's uh there's some gaps in the chains that that's that allows for any soil that the like the soil that the harvester picked up to flow through and back onto the ground because obviously you don't want that you want the, to minimize the amount of soil running through the machine. So, so yeah, so the tomatoes go up here on the belt and then they, uh, they dump in back, they dump back in here. So inside here, inside this wall is what we call the, uh, the uh, shaker there. It's a, it's a counterweight balance. So it's a, a shaker or, or brush as well as what we call it. So basically it'd be like if you uh, grab a tomato plant in your hand and shake the tomatoes off the vine, that's a base. That's essentially what the what that is doing inside there. So that sh gets the tomatoes off the vine, and then once we go uh, once we go past uh, the, this area here back here, the uh, open this up here, you can get a better look. Yeah, so you can kind of see the back of the brush or shaker right there. So that's counterbalance and shake. So that out of the way, and then. Uh, so yeah, so the tomatoes fall down on that cross belt there, just uh, just past this one here. Like it'd be just past the, the belt that goes around here, and then the uh, the vines. You can actually see a vine hanging on the uh, on the brush right now. It comes. Uh, uh, they come back out the back and fall through, and then this is a this is a chopper. So this is actually a, a chopper out of the back of an old uh, John Deere combine back in the days when they were quite small. So uh, so yeah, so this thing would be spinning back and forth. Or shaking back and forth and the vines would come through here and get shredded before they go on the ground and then we'll follow the tomatoes here so let's close this and so yeah the, the tomatoes would come across here and this is just the excess stuff this is a giant like blower that blows out all the smaller vines and whatnot and the tomatoes would come out here you can see some on the belt and then we have someone standing here. This is what we call the, the vine person. So basically, uh, this is just before the color sorter. So the color sorter sorts out any any like dirt or any uh, green tomatoes. So obviously, you don't want any green vines going through the color sorter as it might kind of screw it up. And we don't we don't want that because it's a pretty expensive machine. So so the main job of the person back here is to just to remove any vines that come across or sneak through the machine. And if there's no vines, well, then they just sort what the people at the front are doing there is uh, uh, sorting for rotten or green tomatoes. And then, uh, so yeah, so then the tomatoes would flow in here. And this is what we call our, our color sorter here, so or electronics, what we call it. So basically, it's there's a, air, a compressed airline hooked on the other side. And... Uh, and when these little fingers here, it's not turned on right now, but if it was turned on, if you were to put a green tomato in front of it here and go like this, the fingers would kick because it can read, the, it can sense the green tomato it can, and, and it kicks it out. So I know I've seen before putting a green tomato on the end of a knife and going like this with the machine and you see the fingers kicking off. That's to, that's uh, that's how you make sure it's working. So, so again, this sorts uh, for green and for for dirt and uh, it doesn't do any uh, it's not don't doesn't have the capability to sort uh, rotten or or uh, like broken tomatoes or anything whatever you want to call it so uh, or defected tomatoes I guess is the proper term 
So uh, so that's what uh, that's what we have our sorters for to sort anything that the electronics miss, but also to get like the the defected tomatoes and other foreign stuff like toads and whatever else can come come across the uh, belt. So so yeah, as you can see, you'll see in the video. The, this belt will be full of tomatoes. Uh, normally, there's not uh, there's not dirt or anything on there. That's just from cleaning at the end of the day. And the uh, tomatoes go across this belt here and drop down, and then go into uh, what we call an elevator. So basically, that just that that's just the the belt that carries the tomatoes from the machine up into the wagon. So we'll we'll uh, uh, you'll see in the video a wagon being driven beside and. And uh, so yeah, that's how uh, that's how it's done. And uh, and we uh, we pull what we call sets to the factory. So two wagons hooked together, but we only load one at a time in the field. So we get pretty good at hooking up and like backing up wagons and unhooking and stuff. You get pretty good at that pretty quick because you do it multiple times a day. So uh, so yeah, so uh, hope you enjoy the uh, the video showing the action.